a student of several martial arts and a follower of many rigorous disciplines from his early childhood, devoted great energy and knowledge to the creation of Aikido, the martial art of love, not warfare. Instead of imbuing in its followers a desire to win over other people, Aikido cultivates a spirit of love for all things through training and striving towards self-perfection. On the basis of its precept that the mind controls the body, Aikido teaches that one must master spiritual laws that produce a state of physical and spiritual unification in which all deeds are possible. From this state of unity, universal love is born. The power arising from unification of body and mind is called Ki. Tekubi Undo. This exercise promotes relaxation. in the direction in which you are moving. This exercise employs the fundamentals of leading the strength of an opponent who is advancing toward you. Tekubi Kosaundo. Though it seems simple, this exercise helps develop a posture from which your opponent cannot move you either upward or to the rear. It is most important, however, to relax your arms completely, because if you tense them, your opponent will be able to move you as he wishes. Sayu Undo. After raising your arms to the side, you crouch slightly. The crouch movement is used in throwing an opponent. Udefuri Undo, the most widely used move in Aikido. This exercise serves to pull your opponent into a circular movement created by your body. The center of the circle, your body itself, is stable. Consequently, the swing of your arms is powerful. Ushiro Dori Undo. This exercise is used to throw forward an opponent who attacks from behind. 
When your partner has seized both your wrists from behind using this movement, it is possible to throw him forward over your head. Ushiro tekubi tori undo. This move is at the side of and to throw an opponent who is gripping your wrist from behind. The unbendable arm. This is a fine example of the way the spirit can control the body. First tense your arm and have your opponent try to bend it. He can do so easily. Next relax your arm but concentrate on sending your strength a thousand miles forward. As long as you maintain this mental attitude, he will be unable to bend your arm. Anyone can do this. Preventing an opponent from lifting you. Stand with your body tense. Your opponent can lift you with no trouble. If, however, you relax and concentrate your key in the single spot in the lower abdomen, even a man stronger and heavier than you are cannot raise you from the ground. If your key is pouring forward powerfully, you have this much strength in your little finger. Do not try this often. The slightest carelessness can lead to a broken bone. A calm spirit in the direction of the flow of key can make a great difference in a person's power. Practice exercises for two people. Do not force your partner. Instead, you should both cooperate and lead each other as you maintain strong outpourings of key. The person whose key stops for even a second will be thrown. Always turn your head in the direction in which you are moving. Ukemi, practice falling. First, falls to the rear. When standing from this exercise, keep your body and face turned forward. This prevents an opponent from being able to push you backward. Falls forward. A strong outpouring of ki and concentration of the spirit in the single spot in the lower abdomen are vital to this exercise. Keeping your body rounded protects you from injury even when you have been thrown hard. If you keep your spirit concentrated in the single spot in the lower abdomen, you will not be dizzy when you stand. Sayu Undo with a partner. When an opponent attacks with an ikkyo, lead him first, then throw him with this move. Do not let your ki stop flowing, or your opponent will throw you. Do not force your opponent down. Lead his strength and throw him. This technique is a direct application of the Ude Furi Undo. This posture is bad because it is unstable. To correct it,
concentrate your spirit in the single spot in the lower abdomen and think hard that your opponent's strength is flowing there too. You will then be as stable as a rock. Even should your opponent move you, you need only walk away. Complete master of your own actions. Do not pull your right arm. Instead, making the flow of your strength agree in direction with his and drawing a large circle with your index finger, lead your opponent around. After you first lower your hand, raise it again. And continuing the circular movement, and pointing your finger at your opponent's forehead, force him over backward. This is a basic move in leading your opponent. Do not throw him, help him to fall. A few words of explanation about the use of key. If you simply hold the stick, this happens. If, however, you concentrate on sending your strength to the tip of the stick, your partner cannot push it toward you. The same is true of your wrist. When your strength is flowing to it, your opponent's power has no effect. Only when you have mastered this theory and its practice can you successfully lead an opponent. Use of the feet. Force will get you nowhere. Use this technique to lead and down an opponent who has moved to you for an attack. Katate tori koten gaeshi. You cannot force his arm back, but if you hold his left hand, extend it this way and make a small circle in the direction of his fingertips. You will be able to move it because you are following the direction of his key. Katate tori shiho nage. Here again, force is useless. The secret is to make your strength and his flow in the same direction. When that happens, turn and throw him. The throw will be easy, no matter how strong your opponent, if you move his hand directly downward in the direction of his own flow of key. Since this is a ten con version, you must pivot behind your opponent before you throw him. Katate tori kaiten nage. In practice sessions, we allow opponents to seize parts of the body, but in actual combat, they seldom have enough time to do so. Katate tori ikkyo. Katate tori jiu waza, or free techniques. Ryote tori tenchinage. The name derives from the positions of the hands. The right raised as if supporting the heavens. Ten and the left turned down as if pressing on the earth, chi. When your partner has immobilized both your wrists, move whatever part of your arm is still free and lead him into a throw. 
The first of the Tenchinage shown was an Irimi version. The second, a Tenkan version. All Aikido techniques are divided into these two major categories. In the Irimi, you throw an opponent headed toward you without changing the direction of your own body. In the Tenkan, on the other hand, you first pivot from your opponent's line of attack and then throw him. If you try to force your opponent's hand back, you will find it too heavy to move. The secret is to extend it slightly first and then to push it. In the left hand movements of the Tenchinage, also extend his arm first. Do not try to force it. Take up all the flag in the towel first, then pull it, and your opponent will move forward with it. The theory here is the same. Extend his arm to the foo. Turn your hips a little further and he will follow. Once his arm is outstretched fully, he will fall without your pulling him any further. Ryote tori shihō nage. Kyotetori free techniques. Katatori Ikkyo. The move is from the hip first, not from the left shoulder. Correctly retracting the right foot is very important. This time, parry your opponent's hand before he can seize your shoulder. Ikkyo free technique. Nikyo, although the pain in this hold is great, since you bend his hand and arm in the natural direction of movement, no harm results. Bend his wrist. If you are tense, you will be unable to pull him. But if you lead his key, he will follow. Sankyo.
either pin him or throw him. If you pull upward toward the shoulder, you cause your opponent great pain. When he gives a signal by patting on the ground, release him immediately. Yongkyo. Though apparently a simple move, this downward snap hurts your opponent a great deal. Katatori Kokyu Nage. Katatori Free Techniques. A powerful man holding your arm in both hands this way can prevent you from breaking away. Do not try. Move toward him instead. Do not move your wrist at all until your strength and his flow in the same direction. Stretch your left arm and employ a circular movement. This position is ineffective. First, bring your foot in, then extend it again. Throw him in the direction of his advance. An application of the movement in the Sayu Undo. Extend his arms slightly, turn his body in the opposite direction, and when his strength has drained away, throw him. This approach will fail. Extend his arm, stand, extend your arm, and throw him. Tenkang. Ryote mochi kotegaeshi. Ryote mochi ikkyo. Employing a circular movement. Lead your opponent into a fall. Ryote mochi nikyo. motion has no effect. The movement must be rounded. This requires complete relaxation. Free techniques.
with your face turned down. Look up and lead your opponent upward and off balance. of the Ikkyo Undo. Move your body till your right arm reaches your opponent's chest. You will then be completely safe from his strike. Munetsuki Kotegaeshi. You may pin him from either a standing or a seating position. Turning your hips slightly, get out of his line of attack. Attempting to block the strike, only assist him in hitting you with his arm or his foot. Extend his hand first, then swing it to the rear. Using no force, extend his arm, and then simply walk forward, bringing him with you. The same tactic works with an opponent armed with a staff. Munetsuki Kaiten Nage. Munetsuki Ikkyo. Apply the same principles to an opponent armed with a pistol. By the time he shoots, you must be out of his line of fire. The same method against a knife. A slight twist and you are clear. against other methods of knife attacks. Disarm him immediately. This method will not work. This one will.
The instant he thrusts, move beyond him. Munitsky techniques. Unless you lead him in the direction in which he wants to go, you will be unable to lift him. Extend your arm as far as possible, and your hand will slip free easily. The same thing is true when your opponent grips your hand from behind. Retracting your hips is vitally important. Let your opponent move behind you, but immediately lead him forward again to prevent his kicking or striking you. Let him move to the front and then throw him. Free techniques. Constantly pouring forth key, lead your opponent upward. Movement is impossible from this posture. Step back on your left foot, shift your weight to it and then walk forward. Force will not get you where you want to go. Draw up all slack, and when you can move no farther, twist your hips. You will then be able to rotate to the rear. The technique is much easier if you are moving when your opponent reaches you. Free techniques. Movement to the side is impossible from a hold as tight as this. But you can twist your arms inward and outward. Turn them outward first, and as you rotate them inward again, raise your opponent's body. This is an application of Ushiro Tori Undo. Lean forward and throw him over you.
When your opponent grips you at the elbows so that you cannot twist your arms in and out, take advantage of the bend in your arms. Bend them still further and pin his hands to your body. You then become the man in control of the situation. Defense for women. A drug-soaked cloth has been put over your face. Press the cloth to you. Hold your breath for a brief while and break free this way. An opponent has seized your hair from behind. Do not try to break away in attempted abductions like this. First, go along with your attacker for a few steps. Then, using hip movement, break clear of him. Pinching. Pinching a large amount of the flesh is not too effective. Always pinch only a small amount of the skin. This causes much more pain. Arrest techniques. If you grip the criminal's arm tightly, he can thrust it back at you and possibly break away. However, if following the principle of the unbendable arm, you press your thumb close against his arm from behind, making sure that no space is open between the two, and simply walk forward. He will have to follow you. You can then get a sankyo hold on his fingertips. If you approach the man you are to arrest from the front and attempt to take him head on, he could strike you with his right hand. Move by him first, and then turn to make the arrest. Extending your hand is permissible, but when moving in from the front, 
step aside so that you are out of the line of attack. This could happen if you try seizing him from behind. This is a good place for kote gaeshi. Against two opponents, one on each hand. Another throw. Three opponents. A typical training scene. Repeated sincere cooperative and helpful practice among all partners gradually instills correct Aikido movements in the subconscious. Until the time comes when it is necessary to apply these movements, they will remain in the subconscious. To be able to perform Aikido movements unconsciously is the outcome of constant repeated practice. Dosa. This is a basic exercise in emitting ki from the single spot in the lower abdomen so that all of the strength of your body is available for any required action. The partner whose ki stops flowing for an instant will be thrown. Training with a wooden staff. Whether the training tool is a staff or a sword, you must concentrate on sending your key to the very tip of it. When you change directions, your key must change also. In other words, you must constantly send your key along the full length of the staff. The staff will become a part of your body, and as such, is completely subject to your will. Then, you can move as one with the staff, and use it like your hands and feet. The ability to control ki completely is the heart of Aikido training. The all-important element that enables you to deal not only with opponents in any number, but also with the countless problems confronting modern man. Suitable for children and the elderly, as well as for young adults, Aikido in its principles of spiritual and bodily coordination can ensure protection in case of emergency and develop good physical health, the fundamental basis for a brighter outlook for a happier future. This is 